It's been a minute. I uh, built a few watches and just hadn't felt like doing a video for a minute. So, gonna have a few back to back to back ones here. So, this is, let me turn my heater around. All right. So, uh, this is a like skull racer style dial. And uh, I had one direction that I was going on it, and then I changed it mid mid build because I thought a silver case though it would flow a brass case would look better or antique bronze case so let's shift over here okay Google volume one so um, now we can see it a little bit better though no matter how much I hit these things with air they seem to attract it right back so We've got this skull doll that's been bronzed. And actually in person, which is not picking up on the camera, you almost get some like pinks and purples into it a little bit. So skull racer dial. Uh, background's done in some faded out green, which I thought would go good with an antique bronze case. Antique bronze crown. And then I did an actual brass uh, bezel on that. That's an actual brass uh, dial. And then I did a green insert to go with that. And a set of gold hands. And a an, uh, custom painted seconds hand there. And then that's that build as a whole. Large window exhibition case bag, steel movement holder, gilded rotor. And then I put this on a canvas and leather strap. So the greens to go with it. The browns to go with the bronzing and the antique bronze case and then a matching buckle to go with the case so if you like it it really pops in person these uh colors really actually flow well together even though they are a little bit drastic you know against each other this to this but that flows well with the hands these browns flow well into this that brown flows well um I'm sorry, the this brown flows well into the bronzing on the on the dial. So that is the build as a whole. And this will be up in Waffle on my business page here at some point soon. Um, just to go over everything as I always do. I put this bezel on really flipping tight. So you can turn it if you want to try to. But it's on there nice and tight. They'll go backwards and forwards. Um they're held on with a tension ring. Try and put my support down. I always end up hitting the legs on these and moving my camera around. Um, next, this is an automatic mechanical, so you can wind it up, or you can put it on a winder, or you can just wear it and keep time. But if it's completely dead, or you want to make sure it's good to go before you wear it, just wind it back and forth for a good four or five seconds before you put it on, and even if you're not very active, you'll keep it going. This way winds it, this way does nothing, but it's a lot easier to keep your fingers spaced out from the crown tubes to wind it. You'll notice you can feel a little bit of play there. You can hear and feel it clicking. If you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. It's not a hacking movement, so it's going to continue to tick around. And uh, it's got a wobble crown here, so that deflects the lateral pressure on the stem. You're not bending anything, it's rolling with it. And it makes it nice and easy to thread it right back on. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 2.58 p.m. 2.58, so I know it's somewhere around there. Push it right back and thread down. There's a lot of noise going on downstairs, and I'm the only one in the house. Um, and that is the build. So with all builds, you get a nice custom box. This one will have a green special edition box not sure why not sure what it decided it was focusing in on there apparently nothing at all uh, so green box you're gonna have some watch cleaner oh, man this this tripod is terrible need to get a new tripod let's see so like right now what are you focusing in on are you focusing in on this over here why are you? Why is that the focus? That's in front of the camera. Why is that the focus? New tripod, 
new camera. Watch cleaner, this is good on all glass and metal parts. Uh, Non-streaky, non-toxic, non-residue that comes with every build that I do. Also, when applicable, leather conditioner. Um, this is good to keep your strap perfect. Um, you would just apply it to the back side of it, typically nine times out of ten. And uh, maybe every six months, just rub it in with a rag, then remove any residue on it. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover because these are acrylic glasses and you can scratch them. And if you do, uh, just put a little bit on there, buff against it, generate a little bit of heat with your thumb using a microfiber. Will help it go along quicker and about 15 seconds later, it will be completely smooth. And also matching beads. I actually probably do a different set and do something with something bronzed or something on there. I was going to build this in a silver case and I'd already done the bead set. So I just change that piece out or build another one. So uh, that is the build. Hopefully you like it. It is uh, pretty cool. So if you're into those cafe racer styles that I was doing before, this is kind of along the same lines, but with a brass dial instead of a black dial. So uh, if you want to continue to see these in the future, like and subscribe and uh, put them out all the time. Thanks for your time.